When some additional security is needed past hose clamps and silicon couplers, we generally turn to pipe clamps as a more robust, leak-free solution that can also be faster and easier to connect and disconnect for maintenance. As the name pipe clamp suggests, these are more for the larger hard lines of our plumbing system. Think intake and charge air or coolant plumbing where a ferrule is welded to each end of an adjoining pipe and then used by the clamp. Alternatively, it's possible to get hose ends for our flexible lines with these ferrules built into the fitting. Again, this is usually for larger diameter hoses if used for the coolant system. Regardless of the nature of the plumbing being connected, we'll be specifically focusing on the clamp's architecture and function to understand how we can make best use of it. Like a short section of silicon coupler, some of these pipe clamps can provide a relatively small amount of movement to avoid stressing components and the plumbing as they change size with heat and move and vibrate with the drivetrain. The first type of pipe clamp we'll discuss doesn't allow for any movement though, and that's called a V-band clamp. These have a ferrule on each side, which can be welded to the pipes that are being connected. The inner surface is smooth and matches the bore of the pipe. The connection might be spigoted, meaning there's a male and female side, and this helps with alignment during assembly as well as sealing. The outside of the ferrules feature an angled surface that when brought together forms a V-shaped with two wedges. Finally, there's an outer band with a T-bolt just like the hose clamps we previously discussed, as well as a retainer which forms the inner surface of the band and has a groove with a V suitable for the ferrules. When the band is tightened, it applies a radial force to the ferrules, which through the angled faces is partially converted to an axial force, holding the ferrules together. So the friction force from the hose clamps is replaced by a normal force in the axial direction, which is generally much stronger and the machine ferrules provide a nice tight fit up. It should be noted at this point though, that the simpler and lower quality V-bands might not be 100% airtight, meaning boost leaks for turbo applications. So as always, it pays to work with the highest quality you can afford. Again, spigoted V-bands are helpful here, but it's also possible to buy V-bands with an O-ring on the mating surface to improve the seal further. Additionally, V-bands can distort from welding if too much heat is introduced, which damages their sealing ability, so care needs to be taken. For those connections that need to provide some amount of movement, we'll turn to a clamshell style pipe clamp. And there is a range of options here between different suppliers, but they can generally be divided into two groups. The first is usually called a quick release pipe clamp. These will typically use a pair of machined ferrules, which fit together to form a smooth outer bore. The outside of each ferrule has an O-ring, which seals against a union sleeve that slides over the connection of the two ferrules. The outer clamp covers the assembly and has an internal pocket that holds everything together, while still allowing the ferrules and whatever plumbing they're connected to, to move with vibration, angular misalignment and axial motion. Depending on the supplier, the outer clamp will have some form of button, latch, cap screw, pin or other mechanism to hold it close. The other type of clamshell pipe clamp is a Wiggins clamp, and as you might have guessed, this is a design from Wiggins connectors. Although there are imitation versions, the Wiggins W900 clamp is designed and manufactured to meet aerospace and military specifications, which generally speaking, makes it up to the task for use on race cars. The actual parts and functions is very similar to what we've just discussed, with two ferrules that use O-rings along with what's referred to as the body and the latch assembly. While these are available in a range of sizes, some of the important features that are outlined in the military specifications are as follows. The safe working pressure is 125 psi, while the actual burst pressure is much higher than this. The clamp has eight degrees of total angular flexibility and just over six millimeters of axial movement. The safe operating temperature is mostly governed by the O-ring material, which on the side note, silicon tends to be a good option here, 
as it's able to withstand up to around 230 degrees Celsius or 450 Fahrenheit. Wiggins clamps could be considered the original quick disconnect system for motorsport applications, and the quality is high enough you'll find them even used on F1 engines. With that said, they're extremely expensive, which has led to the rise of similar aftermarket products that are somewhat cheaper, like the Plasma Clamp by Plasma Man or Vibrant Performance HD Clamp. The downside, in some cases at least, being the need for a tool to fit and remove them. Considering these points, along with the lightweight and quick and easy to use nature of these clamps compared to something like a silicon coupler and hose clamps, makes them an attractive alternative for our intake, charge air and coolant plumbing systems. The final thing to note here is that if we're using hosing connectors with wig and clamps fittings, there's a male and a female part and naturally these need to be matched as a pair with whatever plumbing they connect. For these, the female side of the fitting is a sleeve that the opposing male end will fit inside of. The male end will feature one or multiple o-rings that seals against the inside of the female outer sleeve with the outer retainer clamps securing the fittings together. In summary, pipe clamps are not only useful for a more secure connection but can also help save weight and service time. While V-bands don't allow for relative movement of the plumbing they connect, quick release pipe clamps and Wiggins clamps allow for vibration, angular flexibility and axial movement. The Wiggins W900 clamp specifically is an aerospace and military grade part commonly used for connecting pipes and flexible hoses in motorsport. This was just one of the many modules taken from our motorsport plumbing course. In this course, you'll get up to speed on the fundamental knowledge of automotive plumbing systems and the components used in motorsport applications, and then use this knowledge to develop practical skills so you can design, build, and maintain quality plumbing for your race car. If you're interested in advancing your skills, this is the course for you. For more information and to purchase this course, click the link to enroll now.